Join me today for a romp in the late summer woods of Wisconsin. We are going to find several choice edibles and I'm going to make a wild mushroom pasta or rice. Going to be fun. We are in the transition from late July, summer to early August, fall. What a gorgeous beauty. Really fresh. This is Lady Porous Cincinnatus, the white poured sulfur shelf mushroom. It is a super delicious choice, edible. Pores are white underneath uh, instead of the yellow, the normal sulfur shell. And we are going to pick that. These bruise fairly easily. You'll notice even when I um, touch the bottom of these beautiful white pores, sometimes you can see bruising already. They'll grow around wood, bark. They are uh, really happy with oak. They decompose dead roots. The wood of a dead branch, even on a living tree. Beautiful Lady Porus, Cincinnatus. The least reactive of the three species. If you want to know about the three species of sulfur shelf, uh, click at the end of this video. I have a tutorial on that. We're gonna cook this up and eat it today Mwah. I'm in my early lobster mushroom spot So a lobster mushroom is actually two mushrooms in one it is a host Mushroom, Rusula breva pea, or Lactofluus piperatus, Lactaris piperatus, and uh, those are parasitized by an orange kind of ascomycete mold. Um, which turns both kind of unpalatable mushrooms into a choice edible that has a shellfish smell and taste, particularly when the host tree is an oak as opposed to black spruce which uh, the uh, breva peas like so these would be I'm in an oak forest these would be the um, piperatus lactophilus piperatus I'm seeing a lot of uh, fungal kind of mycelial patches on the ground so like I said we're probably a little early we did get one though Let's look around some more in this beautiful old oak hickory forest. Wow, yeah. There will be some more in here. You can see this. This is Lactofluus uh, piperatus. See how it has a little indentation that a lot of lobsters do? It still has beautiful white true gills. It has not been parasitized by the Hypomyces lactiflorum or the lobsterizing ascomycete mold. And there's a whole bunch of them here, all by the base of an oak. And so for whatever reason, the temperatures uh, were not favorable for that mold, which is normally here, and making all these into choice lobster mushrooms. This mushroom uh, species, Piperatus, means it's uh, piping hot. So probably not palatable by itself. Yeah, so once you see a fruiting body that has not been parasitized by the lobsterizing ascomycete, um, once it's up out of the ground, it's not, it can't be parasitized. It won't be because that happens underground where the two meet and have their battle. So it, this is my lobster spot normally, but for whatever reason, um, they're not up yet in full and we'll have to come back. I'd rather go early and go every meh, four or five days or right after a rain to check for them 
then come too late and have them be rotten. So plan today is just have a nice hike and enjoy what we did get, which was a delicious, what I call the pink sulfur shelf. It's uh, Lady Porous Cincinnatus. Delicious white poured sulfur shelf. Beautiful, associated with oak, particularly white oak. Oh uh, yeah, gorgeous and yummy. Here's just the start of what will be some beautiful turkey tail, a medicinal mushroom. So, you gotta wait for that. We're walking here, we're walking. So for your lady porous, AKA sulfur shelf mushrooms, make sure you cook it thir thoroughly. Um, parboil it for like 10 minutes, drain it, squeeze it dry with some paper towels or a clean kitchen towel. And then you can uh, roll it in seasoned flour, egg wash and breadcrumbs and fry it on high heat in some good oil and then dunk it in marinara sauce. Maybe top a little Parmesan or melted mozzarella. Ooh, baby, what an appetizer. That's how I like it. Let me know how you like it in the comments. Oh yeah, yeah. A little bit of dog vomit slime mold, I'm thinking. Really interesting uh, locomotive kind of fungi. More Lactarius piperatus, or Lactifluus piperatus, however you want to say it, but not lobsterized. Bummer. So these are the invasive yellow oyster. They're lighter in color than a lot of times. This one's more fresh, and there's some real young ones there that those I'm going to pick because those are delightful. I don't pick the really big ones. This, this here will be a tasty treat and uh, really fresh. Let's see if we can get it. There it is, look. Look at that, and that's how they look underneath. How beautiful and delicious. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed yourself, learned a little something, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Combined with my black trumpets, Russell's bolete, and chanterelles from the other day, I am gonna make either some wild mushroom rice or pasta. Yummy. So today I made wild mushroom spaghetti with marinara sauce using all the freshly harvested mushrooms we found today and yesterday. First taste of a Russell's Bolete ever. It's well cooked. Oh my god, is that good? Mmm. Delicious. Meaty. Really good. Mm -hmm.